Hello YouTube, we're going to redo this hammerhead, we'll show you why. Uh, this had a metal wedge in there, and all we did was kept drilling out the drill bit. See how it was shaped. We're going to saw a slot and make a wood wedge. Then we're going to use our Gorilla Glue and spray a little water on it, because that's how you make the glue activate. And it's never going to come off there. You see where I kind of drilled off to the side there? Okay, this is why we're going to change this. We bought this brand new. Not that it's a bad hammer. See how that's made? Okay, it never. You see where I've tried shaping it? Okay, let's get back here. You see where I tried shaping it even? It's that little point to it. It never was a good ball peen on it. And it's the only one they had in this store. It was a store that sold industrial tools. And we'll take a picture of the brand name. We don't get paid to promote anything. We will have a photo of that. We're going to just polish this, polish steel, and put some clear on it. And we're also going to take some 600 grit, wet dry. Can't tell you the brand. We're going to take the varnish off this handle. We do not like varnish on a hammer handle. It doesn't even feel good. It's just too slippery and slimy feeling. We're just going to put some linseed oil on it. Uh, you can tell how much abuse it's taken. I can't believe I miss hitting the stuff that much, but it's taking a lot of use punching and hitting on stuff. Uh, some of this is for tapping the head off with another bigger hammer to get it to come down off here. But we did mark it which way the head went on. We marked that down here at the bottom end. We put a little scratch line where the head, which way the head goes. And you can clearly tell which is the top. See how that's ground, how that's made. They finished it off the factory. So there you go, enough talking about. We're going to make this into a special type point hammer, no ball peen. We want something special. We're going to do it all with the belt sander just by going on the belt. Well, if you ever tried doing this with a handle on it, you're not going to get much done. So that's why I took it off because it's so much easier to do stuff with one of these heads when it's not on a handle. So we're going to take this down to like a point, like a pick hammer. So that's what we want. Stay tuned. We'll bring you back when it's done. Okay, like I said, take a deep breath. We had a change of plans. We took the four and a half inch grinder and done this. So we got eight sides. You know what I mean. This side, this side, this side, this side, and then in between. Octagon. Focus. Now we'll take it to the belt center. So you see what we're trying to accomplish? One, almost like a little point out there. Custom hammer. Okay, enough yak. The belt sander, it's going to take too long. So we're doing the roughing with the four and a half inch grinder. I'm on my old camera, so if it's going out of focus, I'm used to being able to use that high dollar camera. This is the old one. I uh, can't tell you, it's just my old Canon PowerShot 1400A or whatever. I used to use years ago so let's talk more work we're gonna make this nice little pointy type hammer for stuff and then we'll clean it off take the paint off we're gonna polish it all up just clear coat it so stay tuned we're back to work again we're doing this outside see the dip in there that stays it kind of pushes the belt down you can get better than keeping you know that, but if you really want to get it where it can push down, you can see the dip in that. So push the paper down. See how close that's getting? Thought I'd include that. It's just so hard to film without bringing the tripod in there. You all see belt sanders. This is my one I modified by putting the heavy duty thing on there. Not the brag, but it's better what the factory has. So stay tuned, we'll get this done. Okay, we did our finished polishing by taking this off so we can freehand it out here. And you can go on either side, you can grind up, throw sparks in your face, this way it goes down. I wouldn't recommend going like this and snagging it because this is coming around. But you can kind of go like this way if you want, but never point anything towards the direction coming at it. It's going to snag on it. You'll rip the paper. And it's not a needle sharp point. Sorry if it don't focus. We'll have better pictures. Okay, we're going to just strip the paint off with our little buffer tools and stuff. But first, we're going to clean this off. We'll use this. I do not know what grit this is. Whatever Harbor Freight has, super smooth. 
So stay tuned, we'll get this all done and polished. Okay, just take a sharp knife. Don't go this way. You can scrape back and forth like a most. You, you'll tell you're getting the stuff off there. I took my sandpaper to it. You can tell you're starting to get wood. Then we're just going to put some linseed oil on it when we're done. Uh, there's still some of that slack on it, but it, it'll feel better. Trust me. That slimy, it gets when you get grease on it, it gets all greasy and slimy. It's just not the same as natural wood. Uh, you don't want to see some of the slack left up here. Okay. We get this thing back together. We decide to leave this blue. Uh, we use the disc sander, whatever, to polish that. We use both the belt and the other one to polish that because this is not perfectly flat. This was not flat on there. Then we took our scrubby scotch pad thing we use in our drill. Kind of did a polish. It's not perfect, but it's not a real sharp point. See how it's just almost flat right there? That's what we wanted. Want to peck and stuff, we don't want to poke holes in it really. So, we're gonna leave that blue on there, leave the factory name and everything. So, we'll be back after we saw a slot here and get this thing glued up and put a wood wedge in it. Okay, we're done. We could have sanded on the wood a little more and got some more of that varnish shellac off, but I don't know if you could tell from the last clip that there is linseed oil on there. I want to show this. This is the Gorilla Glue. We'll take a picture of it. Uh, we put water on the wood wedge, okay? Because you're supposed to wet the woods. So we just wet, wetted, you can do this, wetted down the wedge, put, poured the glue in there, pounded the wedge in, and tomorrow this all foam up, we'll scrape it off. We wanted to show that how foamy it gets. See that? And then we'll take a picture of when it's sanded it off, because we won't be posting this right away. So uh, you'll see a picture in once the foam is dried and I clean that off. But there you go. I got a different type of ball peen hammer. So thanks for watching. Uh, I should have used my better camera. It is a lot better in the light too against this towel. We have a dark green towel we're gonna try in here in one of our next videos. Thanks for watching and watch the pictures at the end and you'll see uh, when that's all removed and sanded. So thank you again for watching.